In this video for positive maths, we're going to look at some of the problem solving activities involved in income tax questions. So, let's look at an example. Robert's annual salary amounts to €35,750. His tax credit is €2,260 if he pays tax at a rate of 22%. We need to calculate his annual net income. Okay, so we've read through the question, now we just need to pick out the important information. So his annual salary amounts to 35,750. So we're going to write that over in our table, over on the left. His tax credit is 2260, so 2260 euro. If he pays tax at a rate of 22%, calculate his annual net income. Okay, so the first thing we need to calculate is the tax that he pays. So that's going to be 35750 multiplied by 0 0.22 to find 22%. So we will find that he pays 7,865 euro of tax. Okay, so this is his gross tax. We know that his tax credit is 2260. So we need to calculate his tax payable or his net tax. So that's the second thing we need to do. So this is going to be 7865 minus our 2260. So we will really only pay 5,605 euro in tax for that year. Okay, and the third and final thing that we need to calculate is a net income. So that's the gross income minus the tax that he has to pay will give us his net income or his take home pay. So his net income is going to be 30,000. 145 euro. Okay, the next problem. Katie is paid 14.60 an hour. She works 39 hours a week. Her tax credit for the week is 57 euro and the standard rate of tax is 22%. We need to find her gross income for the week her income tax that she pays, and her take-home pay for the week. Okay, so again, we're going to kind of use this kind of a table format. Okay, so the first information we are given is 14.60 an hour. She works 39 hours a week. Tax credit is 57 euro, and standard rate of tax is 22%. Okay. So, part one, calculate her gross income. So the gross income is going to be equal to 1460 multiplied by the 39 hours. So for the week, she will get 569 euro and 40 cent. So we must remember to always include our units in our final kind of answer. Okay, part two. We need to calculate the income tax she pays. Okay, so we need to calculate 22% of 56940, first of all. We do that by multiplying it by 0 0.22. So her gross tax is 125. 0.27, rounded to two decimal places there. Okay, so the income tax she's going to pay is going to be the gross tax that we calculated minus her tax credit, so minus 57 euro. So we get 68.27. So our income tax is going to be just to include our unit, 68 euro and 27 cent. 
Final part then, her take home pay is going to be her gross income, which is 56940, minus her, gro her net tax, her, her income tax. So we have 6827. So her take home pay, or her net income, is going to be 501.13. So again, net income. Just to be clear, including our units, 501 euro and 13 cent. Grace works in a bookshop and earns 12.50 per hour for a 40 hour week. Her tax credit is 50 euro and the standard rate of tax is 20%. If Grace works time and a half, she will earn Sorry, if she works overtime, she will earn time and a half. In a particular week, Grace works 45 hours. So we have to calculate three different things. Her gross wage for the week, the amount of tax she will pay, and her take-home pay. Okay, so first part, we're going to calculate her gross wage for the week. So for 40 hours, she gets 12.50. Okay, but she works 45 hours. So that means for those extra five hours, she gets, and we just put it here, time and a half. Okay, so this is really what we have to calculate. So what does she get for the 40 hours, and what does she get for the five hours for time and a half? Okay, so first of all, a 40 multiplied by 1250. So for her normal 40 hour week, she will get 500 euro. So then five hours time and a half. So the time and a half first of all. What we're looking at here is the pay that she gets for an hour, which is 1250, plus half of 1250, which is 625. So for the extra five hours she will get paid 18.75 per hour okay so we're multiplying our five then by 18.75 so for those extra five hours she will get 93.75 okay so calculate her gross weight for the week we have to add our 500 plus 93.75 so we get 953.75. So gross income nine hundred and five hundred and ninety-three euro and seventy-five cent. Okay, for part two, we need to calculate the amount of tax she will pay. So she pays tax at a rate of twenty percent. So we're looking for 20% of 59375. So we will get 11875. Okay, so that's her gross tax. We need to find the tax she will pay. So that's going to be 11875 minus her 50 euro tax credit. So she will pay 68 euro and 75 cent. Okay, so that's our tax payable. The third part then, her take home pay or her net income. So it's going to be her gross income, 59375. Minus the tax that she has to pay, 67.75, 68.75, sorry. So her take-home pay will be 5.25. So we'll write down her net income is equal to 525. So let's look at the next problem. Brendan is a factory manager and he earns 62,000 a year. His annual tax credit is 4,750 
and the standard rate of income tax at 21%. He must also pay 6% of his salary towards a pension contribution. Calculate the following. So his pension contribution for the year, his income tax for the year, and his net pay after income tax and pension contribution have been deducted. Okay, so even though in these questions we might have different things that we need to calculate, okay, they can become a little bit more complicated than the first ones we saw. We're still going to take it step by step, solve each part to find our final answer. Okay, so the first part is pension, contribu co pension contribution for the year. So we have 62,000 multiplied by 6% to find 6% of his um, yearly income. So the annual pension contribution is going to be 3720. Okay, our second part. We need to calculate his income tax for the year. So we have 62000 multiplied by 0 0.21 to find 21% of his annual salary. So we get 13,020. Okay, but we remember that that is not the tax he will pay. That is not his income tax. He will really pay 13,020 minus 4,750. So we have to subtract our tax credit. So his tax payable is going to be 8,270 euro. So then step three, we need to calculate his net pay after income tax and the pension contribution have been deducted. So we're going to have 62,000 minus the tax minus the pension contribution. So his take home pay is going to be 50,010 euro. For more information, you can visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info at